On today's New Hampshire beer tasting from Big Water Brewery, I have blackberry cream ale. Wow. <laughs> Big Water Brewery is out of Salisbury, New Hampshire. Uh, I believe it is a one-man operation, uh, three-barrel uh, nano brewery. Uh, started off as a home brewer, mostly brews sours, um, and this is not saying it's a sour, uh, but everything that they have is uh, bottle conditioned. And this blackberry cream ale comes in at 5% ABV. Just a standard gold cap. Uh, I'm going to try to not pour any sediment in. We'll see if that happens. So that's all sediment stuff at the bottom, so I stopped. Uh, so the coloration on this is like gold uh, to amber, uh, deep gold. The head, never really built much of a head. It's more of just a ring of white, small and medium bubbles. Uh, clarity on this. You can pretty much see through it. It's it's pretty clear. If I was to pour in this very murky brown in there, then uh, that would definitely murk this up a bit. So I might I might drink some and then and then put that in and just see what the difference is. But the aromas on this you get uh, blackberry. It's a lot of blackberry. And I'm not sure if they do uh, use 100% blackberries, if they're using blackberries, if they're using uh, flavoring extract, I don't know. Uh, what it does say is a cream ale flavored with blackberry with a hint of sweetness. So, it's got a very blackberry nose. Let's go in for the first swig. It's got a pretty light, light to medium-ish body, um, a lot of fizz, so decent amount of carbonation. It does kind of leave the uh, mouth a little bit dry because there is a is a tartness to this. Trying to find like any malt flavoring. Um, there is. It's a. It's a very light. Uh, either on like the wheat or uh, like cracker type flavors. So very, very light and malt. Um, a lot of tartness. And there is a a berry esque flavor to it. Smells more like blackberry than it does actually taste like it. I think that's just the tartness taking taking over though. All right, let's go ahead and swirl this and dump that in there and get the nice view. Alright, so lots of sediment floating in it now, and now it is quite murky. Call that murky. Uh, yeah, it does not smell as pleasant as it did before. 
It's kind of got this strange rubbery smell to it now. So I don't advise if you uh, pick <laughs> pick this beer up uh, to actually put the sediment in there. Let's go in for this swig. Yeah. The sediment at the bottom. Don't put it in the beer. Uh it's it's got a it's got a strange flavor to it now. Strange rubbery aroma. And now it's just this tart, odd flavor. So I don't know um whether it being tart and stuff like that and where they do a lot of sours um, it's probably like a a sour strain of some sort um, I think they do have like wild yeast and stuff that they use so carbonation is pretty good though I keep on uh, gassing up here Alright, well, cheers guys, thanks for watching.